credit support makes a lot of sense for businesses. Bailing out shareholders makes less sense. The airline industries, if they go bankrupt again, uh, as a consequence of this, they can continue to operate. They've been through bankruptcy before. I don't see a particular reason to uh, bail them out, um, bail out the shareholders, that is. Um, that's quite distinct from a liquidation of the company and its operational capacities. And that's the distinction I'm drawing. Uh, bankruptcy court is designed uh, to maintain critical operational capacity um, while ownership is, is transferred from, uh, from the, uh, from the uh, old stockholders to, the, to the, new, the new stockholders. Now, there are some nuances to mention in the current environment. Um, that differentiated from normal circumstances. It's possible to imagine that uh, there be a, such a wave of bankruptcies uh, in the wake of this crisis that it might overwhelm the bankruptcy court process. And so there might need to be some special provisions because uh, we don't want the airlines to shut down after this comes back, but I'm, I'm not gonna shed too many tears um, if they go bankrupt. Uh, so that's, that's kind of one uh, thing I would say there, just based on uh, news accounts, there are, there's obviously a huge amount of pork barrel spending that is buried in the stimulus bill uh, that I think on economic grounds is not a desirable outcome. Um, but in terms of political expediency, that may have been how you get the, that may be how you get the bill passed. Um, so yeah, that's true in any emergency situation where there are, at least to my knowledge, where there's a large stimulus bill, there are always many pieces in it that have nothing to do with the crisis at hand and shouldn't really be part of the stimulus bill on, on economic grounds. 